Here we've got the topic, sine fraction multiplication, advanced. So our directions are simple. We've got uh, some fractions and even a whole number here that we multiply together. Be very aware, we always want to write our answer in simplest form. Okay, so once again, the Alex description is complete, but sometimes has a little bit of a gap. So we start out by saying, it says, uh, write the product as a single fraction. One thing to be aware of that some students kind of get confused about or, or even forget is that any whole number can always be written as a fraction by just writing it over 1. Right? Negative 5 is exactly the same thing as negative 5 over 1 because that's just dividing by 1. So anytime you have a, a whole number mixed in with some fractions, whether it's addition, subtraction, or multiplication, division, whatever, we can always make it a fraction. Now, the cool thing about multiplying fractions is that we, we don't have to worry about least common denominators. All we have to do is just multiply the tops and multiply the bottoms. However, there is a time-saving step, this common factors. We can cross-cancel, it's often called. So what we want to look for is where we have some common factors between top and bottom and we notice that there's a a negative 5 in the top and a positive 5 in the bottom well those can cross cancel but dividing both of those by 5 we get a negative 1 on the top and uh, just a 1 on the bottom now we can just multiply through negative 1 times 6 is a negative 6 negative 6 times a negative 8 makes 48. So that's how we get the numerator. And then on the bottom, 1 times negative 7 is negative 7. If you, so there's our answer. If you write, if you enter it like this in Alex, it'll accept it, but it'll give you a little hint saying that the more common way to write it is with the negative sign out front. Either way is fine. This is the better way. So it's like, this is good, this is better. Let's look at one more example here. So what we've got is, uh, again, multiplying. Remember the negative 2 is the same thing as negative 2 over 1. So now our first step is to just rewrite this as one big fraction. We can say negative 2 times 5 times a negative 3 all over uh, 1 times 2. And we don't have to write that 1 in the bottom because 1 times anything is just that same thing, so we can just leave it out. 2 times 7. Okay, first step we've finished with. Now we look for cross-canceling. We see we have a couple of 2's here. So we can cross-cancel and make this one a 1, and this one becomes a negative 1. Check and see, no other cross-canceling. So now we just multiply that straight away. Negative 1 times 5 is a negative 5, negative 5 times a negative 3 is a positive 15. Down here we just have 1 times 7 and we that's the simplest form. We always check and see are there any numbers that'll go, if we do our cross canceling here well then we don't ever have to, have to worry about any simplification over here. So there's our answer 15 over 7. How about one more quick one? Okay, again, lots and lots of negative signs. So let's just worry about those as we work through it. Don't actually worry about them, but just manage them. So we have negative 5 times 9 times negative 2 all over negative 9 times 7. Okay, let's do some cross canceling. I see I have a negative 9 and a 9, so I can cross that out and make it a negative 1. Cross this out and make it a 1. No other cross canceling, so negative 5 times 1, negative 5. Negative 5 times negative 2 is a positive 10. And negative 1 times 7 is a negative 7. Oops, negative 7. So we'd write the best way as negative 10 over 7. There you have it.